Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. In this tutorial, Rust will connect to a MySQL database to query data. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning Python course and learning PHP course. Data can be created using the MySQL connector. Guinea will be used as the IDE. The jumboshop.com learning Python course inspired this tutorial. So let's begin. You use cargo. We'll just create a okay. Then first thing we need to do is we need to create our dependency. I'll do that in Guinea. So what I will do here for the dependencies, I will say just MySQL. We want everything. So that's it for the dependencies. And then for the main Rust file, I don't need this. I need to use MySQL. Prelude. Then we will create a function, the main function. MySQL, this is to connect to the database. So the username is actually tutorial. That's the password. It's our local host. That's the default port number. <coughs> database will be Tutorial. And this is the connection variable. And we're creating our query here. SID. I'll show you the database and its structure soon.
Okay, that looks fine. Now I'm going to show you the database. Then I will, before I run this, make sure you save. So this is the table structure. It has a SID, which is an integer name, which is a text, and age, which is a short int. It just has three characters because age will never be more than three characters for humans. And if we go to browse here, you can see the data. We have John, Jane, and Darcy. Darcy is important because I'll show you how to later. I'll show you how to you, you can escape uh, the apostrophe or single quote so that for SQL injection. Okay, let's go back to the command line and we can compile and execute our code. Now, if I didn't make any mistake, I should just say cargo run. And it's going to build everything. It shouldn't take too long. The first time will take too long because it has to build all the dependencies, uh, basically MySQL, and anything else it needs. After that, it will be quick because it doesn't have to reinstall MySQL or run all this uh, other dependencies as well. You can see here MySQL common. And obviously, MySQL needs other dependencies on top of that. So, okay, so there's a mistake on line 11. Let's go fix that. Most likely it's not on 11, it's probably on line 10. No? Okay, I'll just stop recording. Okay, it's actually line 4, I forgot to... Okay, that's it, I'll go back to the command line. There you go, you see, we have John, Jane, and Darcy. Now we're going to do the uh, SQL injection for Darcy. So for that one, we go back to our code here. Everything stays the same. What I'll do instead is just above here, I'll create a new variable. Query string. Format. And I want to select SID name age from students where name equals. I need to escape. And then this here will be the query string. So that's the only change. Uh, all I do is I, I'm, uh, I'm checking where the name is Darcy, but you see Darcy has a apostrophe. So this could be a SQL injection. Uh, for example, if you're using user input, so I'm making it a string and then it will replace this with with this here and it's it's uh, escaped so we save this go back to the command line and run and you see i got darcy and 35 rust is dual licensed it's Apache uh, license and the MIT license. Apache is version 2. 
and you can find the full article at ajumbo.com slash rust hyphen database hyphen mysql hyphen select hyphen statement as you can see here i have the mysql in, uh, interface how to install it uh, and this is the code snippet for how to select the data and this is how to uh, the escape for sql injection so you should never just run uh, queries without making sure they're sanitized and validated and properly formatted and obviously escaped and this is how to compile and execute and I have some screenshots here for you as well and then if you prefer the video format this is the video here and as I said Rust is open source it's dual licensed Apache license version 2 and MIT license so this allows commercial use modification distribution and allows making uh, proprietary derivatives if if you want to learn some programming courses I have learning Python here and I have learning PHP so you simply if you want you can learn online you don't need to have your own installed Python or an IDE even a text editor you simply go to jumboshop.com slash learning hyphen Python until the end of 2024 you can use the promo code school to get 20% off it's also the same thing if you want to learn PHP as uh, going back to Python Python is used for AI 3D interfaces and very uh, uh, many different uh, use, use cases even just scripts and then PHP is obviously used for the web websites such as WordPress and others and if you want to learn by yourself again same thing uh, it comes with a web IDE and has PHP installed already so you don't need to install on your local device or computer and there's already a built-in IDE for you as well as you can see here with the screenshot and again until the end of 2024 you can use the promo code school S-C-H-O-O-L you get 20% off now if you prefer you can also get uh, just the ebook versions but these ones don't come with the interactive IDE or the uh, programming language uh, itself you need to install that uh, however they do exist so you can get them from Amazon you see this one here it's a learning uh, Python just search for my name Edward Ojambo in Amazon and you'll be able to get it for for learning the uh, Python if you have a Kindle Unlimited it will be free uh, for a few more months or you have to pay the full price uh, for and then you can also get the learning PHP as well uh, from Amazon you can just search my name again you see Edward Ojambo it should come up all the books that I have there will be more coming soon you can just uh, get it there so literally all you do is just search for Edward or Jumbo in Amazon and you see they will come up there and uh, as well if you go back to the article here you see I do have references so you can just click right on the article the references also be in this description and of course if you want something more than just uh, books let's say you want one-on-one uh, -on -one tutorials you can get those as well it's very simple you go to uh, open up a new tab here you just go to ojamboservices.com if you have issues with the website or you want a brand new website or maybe you're using a platform like wordpress.com or shopify uh, maybe you want an e-commerce, you need some advice, consulting, um, I can help you with that. PCI compliance, SEO, I can help you with all of that. Uh, if, you, if you want a different application, maybe it's not a web application, but you want a desktop application, a mobile application, I can help you with that as well. I can create it for you. And if you also, maybe you want to do everything yourself, you want to learn uh, what programming tools you should use, what software you should be using, uh, what where you should be hosting I can help you with that as well and maybe you want to improve your programming skills for example maybe Java JavaScript Rust C PHP Python 
all different types of languages i can help you with that as well I custom made tutorials one on one that's all for you so what if you're in north america you can call this number if you want to direct dial you can try that number otherwise you can just simply go to the contact page fill in the information here and get back to you within 24 hours thank you